Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like you can't stop me at the minute. I am on a roll with these vlogs, which yeah, is kind of surprising considering I am living off very limited sleep with a newborn, but I'm really enjoying it. I've really, really missed it. So I just thought whilst I'm on a roll, I may as well just keep filming. Today's vlog, as I promised in the last vlog, I have a few um, clothing bits and bobs to go through with you because I've been doing quite a lot of online shopping. So I have quite a lot of that to go through with you. And also it's just like a general hanging around the house vlog. Yeah, so just lots of like chilling, cuddling on the sofa with Goldie, organizing bits and bobs, um, and yeah, showing you a few new purchases as well. So hopefully just a chilled one for you guys to either have one in the background as you are working or doing your makeup or whatever it is i love having vlogs on in the background um or whether you just want to sit down with a cup of tea hot chocolate and actually just chill out and watch the vlog too that would also be really nice however you watch <laughs> i honestly feel like people's vlogs really like got me through the first few weeks of newborn life like especially in the night feeds and stuff because it just felt really comforting and like I don't know, it was just really nice to have like someone else's voice on around the house and stuff. Just so, cause I do feel like when you're feeding, like it can feel quite lonely. So it was really nice to have, yeah, like just people to watch and stuff. So maybe that's you, maybe that is you currently watching my vlog. Um, and it's just nice to have like a friendly face to watch and chill out with. Sorry, I've absolutely no idea where that massive ramble came from. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I was just saying like how much I'm enjoying getting back into vlogs and to start off today's vlog I want to chat to you about something that honestly I think is such a postpartum essential and something that has really really helped do you know what not just postpartum pregnancy essential no okay life essential but particularly pregnancy and postpartum essential um and something that really really helped in those early weeks and it's still really really help really really helping now and you can probably guess what it is that I'm gonna say, but <laughs> honestly, the best postpartum hack there is, is signing up for HelloFresh. Because when you have a newborn baby, the last thing on your mind is what you're gonna eat for dinner. And just being able to have food delivered to your door with all the recipes is honestly such a lifesaver. And it just meant that anyone that was here at the house staying at the time, whether that was my mum, Sam's mum, friends, whatever, it just meant that they could take some of the load off and cook for us because we had the um, box delivered to our door with all the fresh ingredients and the recipe cards. And honestly, it was just a lifesaver, not having to think about going to the shops, not having to think about what we were gonna eat and just knowing we were still gonna get like really nice nutritious meals as well. You guys know how much I love HelloFresh anyway, but yeah, particularly in this postpartum phase, it has honestly just been such a lifesaver. So I do have a discount code with HelloFresh, so I'll pop that on screen. And I also have a QR code that you can scan and that will take you straight to the HelloFresh website. So if you're watching this on the TV or whatever, you can scan the code, it will take you to the website and you can use my discount code and that will get you 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next eight. So a really, really good discount. So these are the meals that I've picked out this week. So we have Thai green style chicken curry. And do you know what I love about HelloFresh? The super quick, 15 minutes. Like that is literally the best thing ever. It means that I can just cook that or Sam can cook that so, so quickly when we're short of time or when we're trying to do it in between naps and feeds and all of that kind of thing. So yeah, love that. I also have a king prawn and chorizo paella. I love a paella. And a root vegetable stew with cheesy chia batter. I feel like this is such like an autumnal, cozy, warming vibe dish. And it feels very autumnal at the minute because it's really cold but sunny, which is some of my favorite weather. So yes, my discount code is RH60HF and I'll also pop the QR code back on the screen for you guys if you want to scan it and head to the website. So now I need to think about what I'm going to cook for dinner tonight. I feel like it's going to depend on how Goldie is this evening, like whether she um, has a long sleep or not. So if she doesn't have a long sleep, I'll do the chicken curry. And if she does, I'll do the paella. So we have options and both of them sound delicious. So very much looking forward to that. So I think I should get on to showing you guys some of the bits and bobs that I've been buying recently because I know I promised that in my last vlog. So let's go and open some parcels. Goldie's currently napping and she's already been napping for a little while. So I don't know how long I'm gonna get here. So I'm gonna do as much as I can. And if I have to stop, I will come back and finish the rest later. It's so funny when they're napping. I feel like I spend so much time thinking she's gonna wake up in a minute, she's gonna wake up in a minute. So I don't actually start anything. And then 
by the time I've like procrastinated for so long then she does actually wake up and I could have started loads of jobs and I didn't and yeah anyway <laughs> so I'm just gonna start this now and if she wakes up she wakes up and I can try and continue this later on but let's start so I have been buying quite a few bits just because I think I explained this in my last vlog but I'm just struggling with what to wear at the minute um clothes just obviously don't fit me my body is a very different shape to what I'm used to so yeah and also I'm just spending so much time on my phone when she's asleep on me and stuff like that and in the night feeds and things like that so it just means that I do spend quite a lot of time browsing <laughs> and also I think the time of year as well it's that time of year where obviously we're coming to like new season and stuff so generally it's the time of year that I would normally be buying new bits and bobs anyway okay I really hope you can't hear her white noise machine by the way <laughs> because they have that going um but I don't think you can hear it anyway first things first I picked up some bits from Cobbles. Now, this was a little bit expensive, a little bit of a splurge, but it's something that I've had my eye on for a really long time, um, literally probably like over a year, and it's pretty much all I wear, so I kind of felt like it was going to be worth the investment. Um, but I picked up a jogger set from the brand Oh, that was a big love t-shirt. I forgot I got that. So it's from the brand Rotate and it's basically like a grey jog set. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, but I just really like the style of it. I thought it looked really good quality and Cobbles had a discount. I think it was like 20% off new season and this was in their new season section. I don't know if I'm going to get time to try these bits on, but I will do my best. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the jumper. I just live in these kind of sweatshirts like it's all I wear these sweatshirts and leggings so I figured I would probably get a lot of wear out of this and um, particularly like worn on its own but also worn with the jogger set as well so the joggers are just like the grey mile and then they just say rotate Sunday on the side there and they're like a cuffed jogger I got these in a small I don't know if these are going to fit me right now I'll try them on and see they do look quite small around the waist but it was actually the only size they had left so <laughs> it was kind of I didn't really have to make that decision I just had to go for it but I think they'll be okay but if not I might just keep the jumper but bonus if I can wear them together but yeah we will see so I picked that up from Cobbles I absolutely love this jumper I feel like it's such a nice fit it's like the perfect oversizedness really nice color love it 10 out of 10. I actually thought these joggers were going to be a little bit long, but they actually fit fine. I quite like how they're a bit bunched up at the bottom as well. Um, and they actually fit fine as well around the waist, so that's nice. And then also from Coggles, I've really been loving um, all of the like Ganny, cool, like branded um, graphic t-shirts at the minute, but I don't know if I'm like, a lot of them are quite bright and I don't know if I'm like a real big bright graphic tee kind of gal so uh i saw this one and this was actually again in their discount part and it just says ganny and then it says have a nice day please recycle <laughs> so yeah i don't know it's actually quite a lot thinner than i expected i thought it was going to be a little bit thicker than that so i'll have to try it on and see what i think what size did i buy this and i reckon i bought this in an either a small or a medium i don't think they had a lot of sizes to be fair yeah this is a small but I feel like at the minute I'm just wearing a lot of t-shirts and jeans, t-shirts and leggings, that kind of thing. I'm not 100% on this t-shirt. It's pretty sheer, it's quite thin. And I don't know, I just don't think it looks like the price it was. I like the little logo, I think that logo is really cute and I think it would look really nice like tucked into some jeans or something. But I just wish it was like a bit thicker, like you can see how sheer it is. So I don't know. And then I ordered a few bits um, from like the H&M group, so Arquette and Other Stories and H&M, um, because you can shop them all on the H&M app, which I just think is so easy and helpful. Oh, I'm doing this really wrong, hang on. Just picked up a black jumper from Arquette. I already have this jumper in like a beige colour, and I wore it loads last year. And actually, every time I wear it, I always get messages on Instagram um asking like where it's from and stuff it's just a really really lovely jumper so i decided to pick up the same one but in black because i don't actually own any like black oversized jumpers so i thought this would just be really handy good layering piece for the winter it's pretty boring it's nothing like too exciting but just the shape of it is really nice and it's 
kind of that like mohair -y feel um like style kind of knit and yeah i just really like it like a crew neck it's a little bit itchy i will say so with my other one i have to wear a t-shirt underneath but to be honest i would probably wear a t-shirt underneath anyway just for the layers so yeah and it has like kind of a wider sleeve i got that in a medium so yeah pretty simple our care is so great for knitwear i will say i really really like all of their knitwear um so yeah definitely worth checking them out if you are in the market for some new knitwear i feel like there's not really too much i can say about this jumper but you can kind of see the shape and how it fits it's a pretty loose fit as you can tell i like the kind of oversized arms but yeah i just think it's a nice one just for chucking on either with leggings like i'm wearing now or tucked into some jeans or something um, and other stories i got this vest I really hope I'm going to be able to try these bits on. I just don't know if I'm going to find the time. Um, so I got this vest from And Other Stories. I don't really know if I'm going to keep this, but I felt as though I was really lacking in like tops in my wardrobe. I have a lot of jumpers, a lot of knits, things like that, a lot of t-shirts, but I didn't have like nice kind of smarter tops. And I felt like this would look nice like layered under a blazer or something like that. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we get on with it but I got that in a size small. Right, ignore the fact that I definitely could do with fake tanning. This is the best. I don't think it's a very flattering cut for me. Like, I don't know, I think this like, where it cuts off around the arm here just isn't, isn't very flattering. Obviously I wouldn't wear it with leggings, I'd wear it with like jeans or something, but I don't think it's right for me. And then also I picked up this cardigan. I am so into cardigans at the minute. I don't know if it's just like, oh, I'm getting a call, hang on. Sorry about that. Yeah, so I am obsessed with cardigans at the minute. I just feel like they just make such a nice, like effortless look. Like, I don't know, just thrown on over like a little vest, like even like a vest like this, or um, I actually really like them totally buttoned up. I just think they look really cool. So yes, I picked this cardigan up. It's this like cream knit and I actually plan on wearing this totally buttoned up I think or maybe just like the top button undone more of like a jumper really but I just think the buttons I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> Chew. yeah I plan to wear it more like a jumper but I think the buttons add like a little bit of interest the only thing I'm thinking is I'm wearing black leggings and this is like molting all over my leggings so that might be kind of annoying <laughs> I feel like this cardigan doesn't look much with this outfit <laughs> definitely isn't something i'd wear with leggings i'd definitely tuck it into some high-waisted jeans because i think like tucked up it looks nice i don't know what do you guys think is it a bit boring i feel like it is kind of i don't know i like the kind of laid back vibe to it also whilst i'm here i really want to show you my necklace so hang on let me just turn you around i'm not sure how well you can see this but how cute is this little g necklace i absolutely love it i just think it's adorable it's from the brand Lillian Rue. It's so dainty and yeah, little G for my little Goldie. I did this H&M order quite a long time ago. Uh, so I can't quite remember what was in here, but we're about to find out. First up, we have a tea towel. <laughs> this is really random, but we've had our kitchen painted recently and i've been going for like a bit of a green accent in there and i saw this tea towel and i just really liked it i thought it was nice <laughs> i also got a bra do you know what this is one thing that i've really found in um like pregnancy and postpartum like the width of my back <laughs> my back is so much wider now so like none of my bras fit me and it's so frustrating i can't seem to find any bras that work for me so um i really needed a strapless bra so i picked up a bra in like a new bra size and I'm hoping that that's gonna fit but we will see okay and then I've got a couple tops like I said I kind of felt like I was just missing some tops in my wardrobe and I do think these kind of things make such great layering pieces in the autumn so I got this top which is like a ribbed turtleneck really cute kind of like um lettuce hem neck and yeah it's like a sage green color and it's pretty much all there is to say. Only thing is, this looks very, very see-through because it is pretty thin, but I'm hoping if I wear nude underwear, it might be okay. I don't know, uh, but yeah, I thought this would just look nice layered under. Blazers, jackets, that kind of thing. 
The arms are very long. <laughs> okay, I very much don't have the right bra on for this, but I don't want to go upstairs and get a different bra, sorry. Um, but this is the green turtleneck top, and I really like this. I think it's really nice piece for layering. I definitely would wear it underneath like a blazer and stuff like that. Uh, but I think it's really nice. I love the colour of it. It is a little bit sheer, but it's not too bad. Like, I've got a nude bra on. Admittedly, the wrong bra, because you can kind of see the top of the bra. I need, like, more of a, a t-shirt bra on, probably. Like, a, a seamless one. Sorry, how many times do I want to stroke my boob? <laughs> but I think it's a really, really nice colour, a nice fit, and a good layering piece. So, I'm happy with that. Okay, yeah, this is just a white ribbed, long sleeve top that I thought would come in handy, again, just as a layering piece. Um, and it's got like a lower back and then it has these kind of like fluted flared sleeves. I didn't have high hopes for this, again, wrong bra, but I actually quite like it. I think it's actually really nice. I like the like slash neck detail, very kind of high wide neck, which I think is really cute. I like the wide sleeves. I think it's a nice one, you know, when you're just looking for like jeans and a nice top, I feel like this could be it. I think it's really nice. Also, I'm not sure how well you can tell, but it's got a lowish back, but you can still wear a bra with it because my bra is like here. So, perfect. And then I bought the same green top, but in the black. Because again, I just thought it would be a good, good layering piece. Again, the wrong bra, and also you probably can't see this very well, but I really like this again. I think it's really nice and just a good handy basic to have. I also um, commented on how long the sleeves were and I was like a little bit unsure, but I really like how long the sleeves are because I love when sleeves like cover like your knuckles. I think it looks really elegant. I really like that. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely keep this. I think I can see myself reaching for this loads as we get into autumn winter. And then lastly, I bought this coat. Now this was um, a bit of a splurge. It was quite expensive for H&M, but I really, really like it, and I sold my other grey coat on Vinted. I've been doing quite a bit on Vinted recently. So it's this big grey coat, and I just absolutely loved the texture of this. It's like almost like a furry feel to it. It's got shoulder pads, so it's quite structured, and then it just literally goes down into a big old maxi coat. Okay, excuse any mess, and also sorry, there's sirens going on outside, so sorry about that. But this is the coat, and I really like it. I love the like, boxiness on the shoulders and I think the length is really nice I think it fits really well I'm wearing a size small uh, I feel like I don't know if you're getting the colour very well here it's so hard to do show like full length things on YouTube but I'm very happy with this I'm actually almost sad that I like it because it was really quite expensive um, especially for like a H&M coat but actually the quality is insane it's from I always find when H&M does this brand, is that Mantico? Um, the quality is really good. Like I've got a few blazers that H&M have done. I think it's like a wool, um, like fabric company. I don't know. But anyway, I really like this a lot. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep it, which is, I don't know, because it looks a bit <laughs> So I do have two more parcels out for delivery and they are out for delivery today, I think. So I've got one more Arquette parcel and then a Zara parcel. So if they come, I will show you, but if not, I can show you in the next couple of days, but it will still be like this video for you guys. So you won't have long to wait, hopefully. But I think Goldie is just about waking up. So I'm going to get a bottle ready. And then I think we're gonna go out for a walk because I need to go to the post office to post my friend's birthday present. So yeah, that's the plan for this afternoon. Hi, gorgeous girl. Hi. Mwah. Should we give you a bottle? Yeah, I bet you're a hungry girl. Are you a hungry girl? Are you a hungry girl? Yeah. I've dressed Goldie in this gorgeous little baby grow, which we actually bought after our 12 week scan. And it's so cute. Okay, we are going to head out to the post office. I'm wearing my new jumper, because I thought, why not, you know? Give it its first outing. So 
So we are just back from our walk. Goldie is still asleep in the pram. And I'm home to another parcel. I actually forgot that I ordered this. It's from weekday. So I did it like with the big H&M app order and it's a grey coat because I was trying to decide between the two and I couldn't decide so I thought I'll just buy both and then I'll return one. So this is good because you guys can now tell me which one you prefer. Mm, okay, I'm thinking this is a no. It's very oversized. And like, I do like an oversized coat, but I think this one might be pushing it a little bit. I think where it's so long. Oh, I don't know. Mm, no. What do you guys think? You can't really see as well. It is, it is like a dark grey, but it is coming up really dark on camera. Maybe if it was in a lighter colour, I kind of feel like a soldier. So I've just given Goldie her bottle. Sorry, I'm like swaying. <laughs> <laughs> like I non-stop sway. Um, Sam's on his way home. It's half past five. So I'm hoping he's going to come back and start cooking because I am starving. And then I think I'm just going to have a little cuddle with Goldie on the sofa and watch a bit of TV because I'm suddenly very, very tired. I do have a lot of things I need to do, such as the dishwasher, the washing, put away all of the stuff that I opened up earlier. But to be honest, I'm knackered. So I think that might have to wait. Sam's just made the Thai green chicken curry for us. We have this little one just chilling next to us while we eat. So we've just finished dinner. We just sat down, I think we're about to give Goldie a bottle. And I'm just about to tuck in to this. Lotus Biscoff ice cream. I literally just picked this up at the petrol station <laughs> when I went to go and fill up a second ago. So I'm gonna give it a go. But I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here for now because it's quite late, I'm quite tired. Sorry. <laughs> it's quite late. I'm quite tired. Goldie's getting fussy. <laughs> I'm going to just take my makeup off and settle her for the evening. And Sam's got football on the TV. So, yeah, I'm going to call it a day here and we'll catch up tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning guys, I am just about to settle Goldie down for a nap so that I can get in the shower and then I can get ready for the day and then I can come on and chat to you properly because this is not the vibe right now. <laughs> And we are all ready. <laughs> um, please excuse if my makeup looks horrendous because I did this entire makeup without a mirror, just using my phone camera um, because the room where my makeup is in, I didn't have a mirror in there and I didn't want to disturb Goldie and go and get a mirror. So <laughs> yeah, sorry about that if I look a mess. I always feel so much better when I have a chance to have a shower and do my makeup in the morning. It just makes me feel so much more awake. I am wearing another Anina Bing jumper and leggings look today. I feel like this is just very much like my mum uniform now. Um, just oversized jumpers <laughs> and leggings and I have quite a few Anina Bing ones because I really really like them as you guys probably know from watching me for <laughs> like the last couple years. So I've had a few more orders delivered. So my Zara order came um, and also um, my ASOS order so I will be able to show you guys those once I can go downstairs and um, open them up and everything maybe a little bit later on. Um, I'm also getting my nails done later this evening which I'm so excited excited about so when Sam gets home from work I'm off to get my nails done so yeah they are in desperate need of being done. I don't know what colour to go for though I've got like this like pinky colour on at the minute but kind of feel like going more like autumnal vibes and getting like a red or like a deep like maroony colour I don't know or I was like should I just go for like a classic French I haven't had a French in ages I don't know we will see we will see. Um, but yeah, so that's my plan for the day, really. I'm gonna go out with Goldie as well for a little walk at some point. I also need to go to the doctors because I need to register her. Um, so I need to go and do that. But yeah, just little bits and bobs, really. And like I said, I'm gonna get into some of those orders with you and then I need to have a big sort out of what I've ordered and um, organize any returns and things like that. I also have some vintage parcels to post. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Hey guys, so today has been one of those days where Goldie has not really let me put her down very much at all. So I haven't really been able to vlog much um, and I haven't been able to show you the, sorry, Raph and Sam are playing football in the kitchen. Um, haven't been able to show you like some of the parcels that arrived and stuff. 
I'm hoping I might be able to show you in a minute if Sam takes Goldie for a little bit. Um, <laughs> she just farted. That wasn't me, I promise, that was her. But she's, uh, yeah, down here. Um, I did go and get my nails done though. Let me show you the colour. I went for this colour. Oh, it's not focusing, come on. Focus. Oh my god, that's really annoying. There we go. Um, it's called Clay Pathway by Biosculpture. I have like a terracotta colour. I feel like it's not really showing up very nicely there, but it's a nice like, yeah clay terracotta color basically hey guys so it is a few days later now i'm really sorry if you can hear um somebody cutting their hedge outside but they've been going for ages now and they're gonna stop anytime soon so i thought i would just crack on um i have just got a few more bits and bobs to show you hello Talyn. um i've just got a few more bits and bobs to show you um a couple parcels arrived unfortunately my arquette parcel <laughs> hello um my arquette parcel hasn't arrived yet and it's been ages so i don't know where that is but yeah, anyway, um, so I have a couple bits from Zara to show you. I don't know if I'm gonna get time to like try it all on. I actually do have some of the pieces on now though. So the first one is this cardigan. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll show you in the mirror in a sec. Um, but yeah, this cardigan I picked up. It's like one of those zip cardigans. I really like these at the minute. I feel like they're very like chilled vibes, just like easy to throw on, good layering piece, that kind of thing. Um, so I picked this cardigan up. Sorry, please excuse the mess in the background, but this is the cardigan. Just an easy throw on piece. I think it might be sold out at the minute, but I will link it anyway. I'm wearing a medium, but it's really cozy and comfy. It's not itchy either. So that's a bonus. And then I also picked up this little cropped knitted top. By the way, Goldie's with Sam. <laughs> if you just heard her then and thinking I've just like fully abandoned her. Um, no, she's with Sam. Um, but yeah, I picked up this little knitted crop top. I don't know. I just thought it looked quite cute and I thought it'd be nice with like jeans or trousers or whatever. I got that in a size medium, so that's that. Also from Zara, I picked up these jeans. I'll show you again in the mirror in a sec, but they're like these like dark gray kind of wide leg jeans, which I really, really like. And these are the jeans. I really like them. I think they fit really well. They are maybe a little bit tight, but I don't know. I think, I think they're working. Um, I've got them on in a size 14. And yeah, they're like a wide leg. They're quite long as well, actually. I could probably do with cutting them, to be fair. But I like the like slouchy, wide leg vibes. From ASOS, I got this cropped trench. Because I have one from Arquette, but I've just decided it's just a little bit too big for me. And it kind of looks a little bit silly. So I decided to go for this one. It's actually from the brand Naked, which I haven't really shot with much before. But it looks like this. And yeah. I just really like it. I actually already bought this in the bigger size um, and I sent it back because it was too big and then I've sized down. So I picked this up in an eight in the end. Uh, but I did try it on the bigger size and I did really like it. So yeah, it's kind of like a grey, kind of beigey colour. I don't know how well you can see <laughs> But that's the trench. So that's the only thing that I got from ASOS and then I have a couple bits from H&M and then that's it. So first up from H&M I picked up this. This is like a big chunky cable knit jumper in a cream color i just thought this was going to be lovely for autumn very cozy vibes i really like the chunky cable knit and yeah i also like the big kind of chunky neckline as well so that was the first thing that i picked up so this is the chunky cable knit just lovely i mean not a lot i can say about it apart from i really really like it i'm wearing it in a size small <laughs> you just chill out there rap um, i'm wearing it in a size small i'd probably tuck it up a little bit but i just feel like i'm gonna live in this it's really screaming autumn to me so yeah i really like it it's cute and this is kind of random to be honest and i don't know if i'm going to keep this but basically i was looking for a jacket slash coat with a hood that i could wear on dog walks when i'm pushing the pram um when it's raining <laughs> because basically i've suddenly realized that obviously i can't hold an umbrella and push the pram at the same time so i found this coat and I also wanted a coat that I could also wear when I have Goldie in the carrier in the sling and a coat that I could like wear on top of us if you know what I mean so she's still nice and warm um so I came across this one on H&M so it's kind of like a quilted style coat it has a big pocket in the middle there it has a hood which looks pretty good actually that looks very like perfect for the rain looks like it's gonna be like really cocoon your face you know um uh it, ha it has like little adjustable straps to kind of pull the sleeves in and stuff so yeah i don't know we'll have to try it on at some point and see if it's 
gonna work but i thought this would be a good option i like the color as well okay i definitely wouldn't be able to wear goldie in the carrier with this because there just isn't space for her i don't think i don't know i think i need to size up one maybe i could squeeze her in but not sure but i really like it as a general um dog walking jacket with the pram i like this big pocket i thought that's really handy i can like literally chuck so much in there i can put like my phone poo bags treats things like that i wouldn't wear it with these jeans <laughs> because i kind of feel like because it's quite oversized i'd probably just wear it with like a pair of leggings or something but i think it's a nice one i like it you can actually even cinch in the sides here with these like buckles i can't do it one-handed but you get the vibe i would say this is very rainproof as well look at that perfect <laughs> Please excuse the golf in the background, Sam's watching the golf, but I also picked up this little um, all-in-one for Goldie. I thought it was good because it's got um, these that you can fold over or not if you want on the arms and the legs. So yeah, I got that for when she goes in the carrier. Look at these two. <laughs> but that is everything that I picked up and I think I'm going to finish the vlog here because I think it's going to be quite a long one otherwise. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!